Greetings, my friends, in the name of the Lord. This is Pastor Stan bringing you another message from the Word of God, the Bible. We're going to talk about something today. We're going to talk about a parable. Parable, that's a message that Jesus would give that has, uh, it's an earthly story, if you will, but has spiritual meaning. So the, the parable of today is going to be the parable of the kernel of wheat. Let's take a look at it. John chapter 12, verses 23 through 26. John 12, 23 through 26. Hear the word of the Lord. Jesus replied, Now the time has come for the Son of God to enter into his glory. I tell you the truth, unless a kernel of wheat is planted in the soil and dies, it remains alone. But its death will produce many new kernels, a plentiful harvest of new lives. Those who love their life in this world will lose it. Those who care nothing for this life, in this, for their life in this world, will keep it for eternity. Anyone who wants to serve me must follow me, because my servants must be where I am. And the Father will honor anyone who serves me. May the Lord add his blessing to the reading of his word. My friends, the great deception of our time is that God runs a corporation called organized religion. This is quite convenient for those from the small local church to the large denomination to justify their oppression of the poor and widows in order to make themselves rich. The sign of their rebellion is the church building the sign of their rebellion is the church building. And I challenge anyone, I challenge anyone to show me the scripture where Jesus commands his followers to build an idol and fake worshiping him there. As Jesus says in Matthew 15, 9, their worship is a farce, for they teach man-made ideas as commands from God. And the church building is an idol and the sign of their rebellion. Jesus died on the cross to set us free from following the ways of the world. Those who have been set free must love Jesus, not the world, and what it offers. He set us free from all of that. 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. Let's see what the Lord God offers and what the world offers. What does Satan offer you? Chapter 2, verse 15. John writes, do not love this world, nor the things it offers you. For when you love the world, you do not have the love of the Father in you. For the world offers only a craving for physical pleasure, a craving for everything we see, and pride in our achievements and possessions. Three things, craving for physical pleasure, this is all this is it he says only the only these things these are only the things that the world offers craving for physical pleasure craving for everything we see and pride in our achievements and uh, possessions he continues these are not from the father but are from this world and this world is fading away along with everything that people crave but Anyone who does what pleases God will live forever. Yes, while well, those who uh, don't do what pleases God, their life is uh, going to be found in a very hot place. And that's not going to be pleasant. But we get to live forever with a body that is like what Jesus has now. And uh, we'll be very excited. I know I will be very excited about that. Now, the worldly system of which organized religion is a part offers only the things of earth and not the things of heaven. Instead of trusting God to provide everything we need, most people use every underhanded trick and deception to build their own kingdom of material goods, physical pleasure, and what they have accomplished. It is easy to see the difference between those who follow Jesus and those who follow Satan. It is written in James 3, 13 and following. James 3, 13 and following. If you are wise, 
and understand God's ways, prove it by living an honorable life, doing good works with the humility that comes from wisdom. But if you are bitterly jealous and there is selfish ambition in your heart, don't cover up the truth with boasting and lying. For jealousy and selfishness are not God's kind of wisdom. Such things are earthly, unspiritual, and demonic. For wherever there is jealousy and selfish ambition, there, there you will find disorder and evil of every kind. Let me read that again. For wherever there is jealousy and selfish ambition, there you will find disorder and evil of every kind. My friends, jealousy and selfish ambition are hallmarks of those who follow Satan. Living an honorable life with good works and understanding God's ways are hallmarks of those who follow Jesus. My friends, the great deception of our time is that God runs the corporation called Organized Religion. The truth is, Satan runs a corporation called Organized Religion. And the Lord says, verse 25 and following, those who love their life in this world will lose it. Those who care nothing for their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Anyone who wants to serve me must follow me because my servants must be where I am, and the Father will honor anyone who serves me. Well, what did we learn today, preacher? Well, here's some things that I've learned. Number one, Satan runs the corporations of the world, including the corporation called organized religion. Number two, the worldly system offers only the things of the earth. That's all that the worldly system offers. And it seems as if everyone except the very pure in heart who follow Jesus fall victim and fall prey to it. And number three, the Father in heaven offers the free gift of eternal life through his son, Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thank you for sending Jesus from heaven to die on the cross for my sins. And thank you for teaching me your ways. The peace of God be with you, my friends. Well, it's been good to be with you on the Pastor Stan YouTube channel. I hope this has been a blessing to you. If you know someone who needs this message, send it out. Send out the link. Get it out to the folks. Maybe this will help people advance in their understanding. See you next time. Bye-bye.